Hey guys, what is going on? Today we have a brand new release day for what is probably the most degen product we have ever done on the channel, and that is 2022 Panini Black NFL. Let's get into it. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Acme Packs, and I welcome each and every one of you back to a new video. So like I said, it is release day for 2022 Panini Black NFL, and this is a risk it for the biscuit rip. It is only five total cards. Panini has it on their website, and it is still up for $280, which, you know, it doesn't surprise me because this class is not the best, but last year's uh, Black went for... I think it was close to $500. Correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I mean, obviously a lot more first round quarterbacks to collect in that class, but to see a close to $200 drop off on a product in one year, I mean, we all knew it was overpriced, but we were still buying anyways. And it's still in frankly, in my opinion, overpriced right now, but very nice to see these products come down. Um, so out of, let's get into the information of this. So we have five cards per pack. Uh, or box, if you want to call it that. And that is a 200 uh, card base set. So 100 base cards and then 100 rookies. So if you guys want to look at this here, i um, going to have five cards per box, one base, one parallel, um, one memorabilia, one autograph, and then one RPA. So you are guaranteed an RPA out of, out of this product, which is awesome. Uh, the MEMS include... Uh, futuristic uh, rookie influx which are um, they've been in years past and then there's a new insert or a new uh, mem insert uh, called starlight materials and then there are some short print inserts now I don't know if those replace the parallel or if they replace the base card but the short print inserts are white knight regulators force field and then new to 2022 is Vanta and then we do have a variety of on-card autographs and midnight signatures, which is very popular. Um, capstones, smoke show signatures, spotlight signatures, and then new to 2022 are nightlight signatures. And then as well as a, it's like they, they labeled it as a triple acetate autograph, which is new to this year, called Iconic Impact Inc., which is really cool. I'll throw a picture up of the one Panini has on their website. And then parallels for this product are silver out of 75, sapphire out of 35, uh, copper out of 25, emerald out of 10, gold out of 5, and platinum one of one. So that is the gist of this product. You know, there's a lot new in it for such a small box. Um, you can take a look at the back again. I'll take the wrapper off. I did get this from my LCS. Um, paid about the same that I would have if... I bought from Panini and paid their sales tax, but here it is. Really excited to rip into this, guys. You know, there was another product that came out today. It was uh, Select Draft Picks, and we did the first off the line for that. So if you guys are interested in that, and go uh, check that out. That was the video right before this, but one singular pack. Now we are going to sweat this one a little bit, just because... It is an expensive box and I really want to, you know, be surprised at what I'm hitting here. But yeah, excited. Let's get into it. I'm going to use some ins or some spacers. Ooh. Okay. So let's just reveal what the top card is. And this should just be a base. And that's going to be Joey B. And that is third year Joe Burrow. Very awesome. Okay, so we'll put those down right here. And then we'll pull from the back because that, if like last year, um, it should be the parallel. So, Joe Burrow, this is the base set. You know, I really love black. This is, it's a high-end set and it looks very, very clean. And it's pretty sought after by collectors. People like these a lot. Very cool looking card. Have a nice shine to it. I do have the first off the line version of this coming out, out too. Uh, this is the first time that a first off the line has not come before the 
uh, normal version, but let's check at... Um, hmm. No, this should be the parallel. Patrick Mahomes. Uh, yeah, this has to be the parallel. And that's going to be out of 75, so it's got a cool silver wave to it. I believe this is just the silver. Nice to hit a good quarterback out of that. Very cool. Okay. Now, we'll start sweating the mems. Or, the mem. Okay. Unless they switched up the way that these work. But, B-H-A. Gonna have... Oh! Breeze Hall. Okay. So, yeah, this is the materials one and it's just gonna be a napkin unfortunately probably not specific game or event it is not uh cool looking card though very cool looking card you know my heart breaks for him he had an absolutely amazing game and then tore his acl it's really really sad you hate seeing these good young players go down like that okay now we're getting into the big boys now we've got our two autographs so this one could be a rookie could be a vet um the last one should be a rookie though and as always guys if you like these release day rips let me know down in the comments like the video and subscribe if you guys already haven't really helps me out and keeps letting me do these rips for you guys so this is not backwards surprisingly might be upside down though Okay. Lions. Mm, is that? No, Colts. Who's that? Jelani Woods for the Colts. That is a rookie. 28 out of 199. So we're going to need something to save the box. Jelani Woods. I don't even know. So he is a tight end with after the catch skills of a running back. Okay. Well, we haven't heard much from him. The Coles are, Colts are having a rough one this season, and they're starting um, Ellinger. But, all right, let's see what our RPA is. Okay. Whew. Number 237. That can't be too good. Dolphins? Did the Dolphins have any good draft picks this year? Eric, uh, this is Easy E, I think, is who it is. Oh, that is a chunky patch, though. Yeah, Easy E. He does sign his name Easy E. Okay, so that's out of 99. It's a really cool looking card, though. That's a, that's a really sick patch. Oh, man. Now, what I'm noticing, like, so black every single year, they have these thicker cards. And to be honest, I don't think they do a great job protecting them in the boxes. If you look at these two bottom corners, they're kind of dinged up. So I think Panini needs to do a better job of packaging these. But, you know, nonetheless, very cool card. And he is... I actually don't know what... Oh, he, he is a receiver. He is a Texas Tech receiver. Okay. But, yeah. Memorabilia is not from any specific game or event. They stopped doing that with the rookies a while ago, unfortunately. But So, no on-card auto, but a really, really, really sick patch. So, you know, could have been better. We do have the, um, the first off the line coming in. So, those should be pretty cool as well. I, I still really love this product. It is pretty expensive. It is the ultimate boom or bust product. But let's take a look at our hits. So we got a Brees Hall out of 99, a Patrick Mahomes to 75, that is the silver, a Joey B base, third year, a Easy E, uh, RPA out of 99 with the sick four color patch. Very, very cool there. And then a Jelani Woods out of 199. So that's gonna do it for this one. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments and remember to like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you guys next time.